The Nile River, the longest river in the world, flows through the heart of Africa. One such civilization was Kush, a kingdom shrouded in mystery. Thanks to archaeologists, the story of Kush is gradually being pieced together. The Kushites were renowned for their mastery of ironworking. Their legacy continues to inspire awe and wonder. The story of Kush begins in Nubia, south of ancient Egypt. Today, Nubia is in southern Egypt and northern Sudan. The ancient Nubians were resilient and resourceful. Around 2000 BCE, the kingdom of Kerma emerged. It flourished, trading with Egypt. The Kushites adopted Egyptian culture but kept their identity. In the 8th century BCE, Kush conquered Egypt. They established the 25th dynasty. The black pharaohs left a mark on history. The Kushites were master builders and skilled artisans, renowned for their distinctive architectural style and their exquisite craftsmanship. They erected magnificent pyramids, palaces, and temples, adorned with intricate carvings and vibrant murals that reflected their rich cultural heritage. Unlike the Egyptian pyramids, which served primarily as tombs for pharaohs, Kushite pyramids were often used as burial places for royalty and members of the elite. These pyramids, smaller and steeper than their Egyptian counterparts, dot the landscape of Nubia, standing as silent sentinels of a bygone era. The Kushites were also renowned for their mastery of ironworking, a technology they developed centuries before it became widespread in other parts of the ancient world. They used iron to create weapons, tools and jewelry, and their ironworking skills played a crucial role in their military and economic success. Located at the crossroads of ancient trade routes, Kush became a hub of commerce and cultural exchange. The Nile River served as a vital artery, connecting Kush to Egypt and the Mediterranean world, while caravan routes crisscrossed the desert, linking Kush to Sub-Saharan Africa and the Red Sea. The Kushites traded in a wide range of goods, including gold, ivory, ebony, incense, and exotic animals. Their control over the gold mines of Nubia, which produced some of the finest gold in the ancient world, brought them immense wealth and influence. Kush's strategic location and its role as a trading powerhouse fostered a cosmopolitan society, open to new ideas and influences. The Kushites absorbed elements of Egyptian, Greek, Roman, and African cultures, creating a unique and vibrant civilization that flourished for centuries. Section 5. Encounters with Giants, Egypt, and Rome. The history of Kush is intertwined with that of its powerful neighbors, Egypt and Rome. For centuries, Kush and Egypt engaged in a complex relationship, characterized by periods of both conflict and cooperation. As we have seen, Kush even ruled over Egypt during the 25th dynasty. Later, as the Roman Empire expanded its reach, Kush found itself facing a new and formidable power. The Romans, eager to control the lucrative trade routes of the Red Sea, clashed with the Kushites in a series of wars. Despite their fierce resistance, the Kushites were eventually forced to cede territory to the Romans. However, even in the face of Roman might, Kush retained its independence and its cultural identity. The Kushites continued to rule over their kingdom for centuries after their encounters with Rome, demonstrating their resilience and their ability to adapt to changing circumstances. Section 6. The Long Goodbye, Reasons for Decline The decline of the Kush Empire was a gradual process, spanning several centuries and influenced by a complex interplay of factors. One contributing factor was the rise of a new power in the region, the Aksumite Empire, located in present-day Ethiopia. The Aksumites, who had converted to Christianity in the 4th century CE, challenged Kush's control over trade routes and eventually eclipsed Kush as the dominant power in the region. The decline of trade, coupled with environmental changes that led to desertification and reduced agricultural productivity, weakened the Kush Empire, making it vulnerable to external threats. By the 4th century CE, the once mighty Kush Empire had fragmented into smaller kingdoms, marking the end of an era. However, the legacy of Kush lived on, influencing the development of subsequent civilizations in the region. Section 7. Rediscovering a Lost Civilization For centuries, 
the ruins of Kush lay buried beneath the sands of time, largely forgotten by the outside world. However, in the 19th century, European explorers and archaeologists began to rediscover the lost civilization of Kush, uncovering its magnificent pyramids, temples, and artifacts. These early expeditions sparked a wave of interest in Kushite history and culture, leading to more systematic archaeological excavations and research. Today, archaeologists continue to make remarkable discoveries in Nubia, piecing together the story of this once great civilization. The rediscovery of Kush has not only enriched our understanding of ancient African history, but has also challenged Eurocentric narratives that often dominate our understanding of the past. Kush stands as a testament to the diversity and complexity of African civilizations, reminding us that the history of Africa is not a footnote to European history, but a rich and vibrant tapestry in its own right. Section 8, Conclusion Echoes of Kush. The Kush Empire, though long gone, left an indelible mark on the sands of time. Its legacy can be seen in the archaeological wonders that dot the Nubian landscape, in the echoes of its language and traditions that persist in the region and in the stories passed down through generations. Kush reminds us that the story of civilization is not a linear progression from east to west, but a complex web of interconnectedness and cultural exchange. It challenges us to look beyond traditional narratives and to appreciate the contributions of all cultures to the rich tapestry of human history. As we continue to uncover the secrets of Kush, we gain a deeper appreciation for the ingenuity, creativity and resilience of the African people. The story of Kush is a reminder that even the mightiest empires rise and fall, but the echoes of their achievements resound through time, inspiring future generations.